Hello everyone, my name is, well you really don't care what my name is. So, uh, I just finished watching Night of Champions. I have some mixed feelings about it. On one hand, I thought it was better than SummerSlam. On the other, could have been done a little differently, but I'm still going to talk about it and give my honest opinion of what I thought about it. So, I'm not going to mention the pre-show, I care a little about it, so... Let's take a look at Ryback and Kevin Owens, which was the first match of the night for the Intercontinental Championship. I thought this was not bad. It was a good way to start off the pay-per-view. I did like how you know, Kevin Owens got a great reaction from the crowd and how Ryback, despite not getting that big, loud chant, cheer from the crowd, he still got a good reaction. Uh... Kevin Owens pretty much dominated part of the match when he injured, uh, he went right for, uh, Ryback's left shoulder, injuring it, and Ryback played it off well, Kevin Owens dominated the match, in the end, Ryback fought back and tried to hit the shell shock, but when his back was turned against the referee, Kevin Owens took advantage, raked the eye, got a roll up, and it's our new Intercontinental Champion, so congratulations to Kevin Owens, I'm glad that we made that right call. I just hope they don't ruin what they have now. And who knows? We might even see Sami Zayn return and maybe fight him for the Intercontinental title. I wouldn't mind. But only until Sami's okay. Because I don't want this guy to come back so soon from his injury and get hurt again. So, Sami, I hope you're getting well and hope to see you soon. Next match we had was Rusev and Dolph Ziggler. Uh... Not bad. It wasn't the best I've seen, but it was not bad between these two guys. Uh, had a much better ending than SummerSlam, where we had Summer Rae get involved. She was on the ropes, yelling at the, the referee and probably Ziggler as well. Ziggler confronted her. Rusev pushed her into pushed them, sorry, into the ropes, causing Summer Rae to fall onto the mat. The referee ejected her. She got mad. Ziggler got hit, hit the zigzag. Got the victory, so Ziggler won, and I hope this ends the rivalry soon, because honestly, I cannot see this rivalry continuing any further. It's, I mean, we know these guys can have some great matches. The problem is, this storyline they have them have them in is just too boring. It's just, who, who cares about a love triangle? Especially since Lana, who's supposed to be involved in this, in got injured, so... Again, end it. Without Lana, it makes no sense anymore. So, just end it. Please, if, give these guys a better storyline. <sighs> Next we have is The New Day versus The Dudley Boys. I found this to be entertaining. This was, this was not a bad tag match. I liked it. And, uh, I gotta say, uh, when, when Xavier Woods came out, he actually looked like Rufio from Hook. If you don't know who Rufio is, I love a, a, the link of a video for it, so you guys will be able to check that out. But those that do know who Rufio is, the fans knew, and they were all chanting, Rufio, Rufio. <laughs> I was laughing. And there it was. He played it off. I, I will say, the, the New Day can be annoying, but they can be entertaining as well, and they did well. Uh, especially against the Dudley Boys, who are veterans, who are... One of the greatest teams of all time. So, uh, in the end, the New Day got themselves disqualified when Xavier Woods got involved. But the Dudleys got the last lab. They put Xavier Woods through a table. And, well, I guess we're going to see a rematch between these two, between these men. And, who knows, might be a tables elimination tag man. I wouldn't mind seeing that. And, hopefully we see it. And the Dudley boys might become 25 or 26, whatever, time tag champion. So, Hope we see that soon. Next match, let me check my phone. What was the next match of this? Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, it was Nikki Bella and Charlotte 1-1. One -one. This was the worst match of the night. Why? Because during the match, during the early part of the match, Charlotte looked like she tweaked her knee. And as soon as she got back in the ring, I'm not even kidding. This was not even five minutes into the match. This was like a, a minute into the match. Nikki automatically took over, and she did that for the rest of the match. I am not kidding. This was so boring. 
I kept checking the time, wondering how long this match was going, because Charlotte never fought back. They made her look like a freaking jobber. Are you kidding me? They, I'm betting Nikki got her boyfriend to go tell the baby, hey, hey, could you, uh, could you make Nikki look good? It just, I don't care about Charlotte. I just want my, my girlfriend to look good, you know? Oh, this was boring. This was terrible. And I think the fans agreed with me. My friend agreed with me. I can't... Oh, hold on. Whatever. I did not care for this at all. I kept checking the time, people. I'm not kidding. This was... In, in, in the end, though, I was glad Charlotte ended up getting the victory. She hit a spear and got the figure eight and made... Nikki tap out, and we have a new, new Divas champion. Finally, thank you. They finally got that title off of her. They should have done it six days ago, though. They should have done that days ago. But no, WWE decided. Oh yeah, now that you broke AJ's record, you're gonna lose the title now. Thanks, though. Just bullshit there. Ah, uh, yeah, but again, this was the worst match of the night. But thankfully, the next match helped helped us forget. This was with the Wyatts versus Roman Reigns, Dean Ambrose, and I was wrong. I thought it was Samoa Joe. I thought it was Finn Balor. I thought it was even going to be, you know, Sami Zayn. But nope. It was Chris Jericho. It's not bad. I just, yeah, I was expecting those other guys. But nonetheless, the fans gave Jericho a great reaction. I was happy to see him, and he looked good. And he did well in this match. He had a Good time here against all these guys, and it refueled, uh, <laughs> made us remember he had a rivalry with Bray last year, so it's great to see that. Uh, Roman and Dean did well as well. They got a great reaction from the crowd, too, and this was fun. It was a fun match. I it did have some complaints, though, with this guy. Let me check his name again. Uh, Braun Strowman. I know, I know he's had some matches, but... They need to make this guy look good. I mean, I know it's it's still early on for him since he joined WWE. It's just you, they could try making him look a little better because they pretty much made him into the powerhouse, which I don't mind, but they need to put him in some good matches. I mean, look what they did with Luke Harper. I thought he was just a powerhouse, but once they put him against Cena, man, he, oh, he showed what he could do. So they need to do the same with this guy. They need to make him... Show us what he can do in the ring. Not just be a powerhouse, but show us what he can do in the ring. That's what they need to do. So, I'm happy that the Wyatts got the victory. This will continue the rivalry until Hell in a Cell, where hopefully Roman and Dean will get a better partner, because Chris Jericho, he just walked out of them. He just, he, he was right. They were looking at him like, well, well dude, you... Kind of brought this on yourself, like, you, you cost us the match. Because Jericho tagged himself in, just as Roman was going for a spear. Jericho ended up losing the match. And he just pretty much walked past both these guys. And, I don't know, is he turning heel? Are we going to see him part-time in the ring? I, I don't know. I just, yeah, I was surprised by how that went. And I hope maybe by Hell in a Cell we'll have a better partner. Maybe Finn Balor, Solo Joe. You know, Sami Zayn, Solomon Crow, all these guys are there. Just, just think about it. So, you might see that. Alright, next match. Uh, it is both the United States Championship and the World Championship with John Cena and Sting facing Seth Rollins. And I gotta tell you, I, I thought John Cena and Seth match was awesome. This was an awesome match between these guys. I, I'm always happy to see these guys face off because they can have some great matches and they proved they proved they could have it here tonight. They had a great match and it was fun to watch these two guys go back and forth countering each other and Seth trying to show he can beat John Cena on his own. He did well. Even though I gotta say the, the, the White Ranger shirt, uh, suit he's wearing, I, I don't know about that. But still, it was a great match to see between these two guys. Uh, I actually thought it was going to end in a disqualification. But no, John Cena ended up getting the victory. And he is now a five-time United States Champion. So congratulations to Cena on winning the title. And Seth, he tried to walk out of the match. John Cena came back in. 
hit him with the AA to keep him from leaving for the world title match and threw him back in. Sting came out, pretty much dominated the early part of the match. And it wasn't until Seth Rollins pushed him through a table that hold on, that he was able to take back control. And yeah, it was just pretty much Seth taking control of the match. Sting fought back though. Sting was able to get back in this match. But then uh, things changed. I think they were either going to have Seth win, I mean Sting win, or have Seth lose by disqualification. I don't know what they were doing here, but during the match, uh, Seth hit a second power bomb to the corner, where Sting, uh, after taking a few steps away from the corner, collapsed. Uh, Seth went for he whipped him to the ropes. Sting ducked a clothesline and just he just fell. Uh, I don't know what happened there. I I don't think it was scripted. It looked like Sting got hurt with that move. And Seth, he was trying to play it off, trying to act like, ha, 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 I told you I was the best, ha, <laughs> ha. Like, he was doing that, but I'm sure in his mind it was like, oh, shit, what did I do? Did I did I hurt him? Like, oh, my God, I just hurt Sting. And Sting, he, he, he came back. He was able to finish the matchup with Seth getting the uh, roll-up. Now, I am kind of ticked off that they, once again, they brought Sting back only for him to lose. I... It's kind of ticked off about that. I mean, really? You... Why Seth? I mean, it makes no sense when you really think about it. But, you know what? I'm, I'm willing to look past that because what my friend told me that Sting wanted to put Seth over. He had an interview. He said he wanted to put him over. So, I guess that's okay. But, honestly, it, right now it makes no sense. We then had Sheamus come out. And it looked like he was going to become world champion until Kane made his return. Kind of like I, how I predicted, just a little differently. And choke slam Seth, then to Sheamus, and then Tombstone power drive Seth. So it looks like we're going to have Seth Rollins versus Kane inside Hell in a Cell for the world title. How do I think that's going to go? I honestly don't know. Uh... Maybe this should be a, if Kane loses, he retires. I wouldn't mind that. It just, I don't care. I'm sorry, it's just, I really don't care. I just want the title off Seth. Please do that. You guys have a different opinion about this uh, pay-per-view? Leave some comments below and let me, let me know what you think. I'll be here next time. Give you more love and more entertainment. Take care. See you all next time.